हेलो आउट प्लेयर्स विश यू आर वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर अलैक्स ईयर वन ऑफ द को फाउंडर्स एट आउट प्ले सो आई जस्ट डिसाइडेड टू मेक दिस वीडियो टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड द न्यू अपडेट्स एंड सेव योर टाइम आई जस्ट गो थ्रू वन बाय वन वी हैव सिक्स इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट्स अलॉन्ग विद अदर बग फिक्सेस एंड इम्प्रूवमेंट्स एंड द फर्स्ट वन आई वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट इज द यूनिवर्सल सर्च so the way universal search works is either with a keyboard shortcut of command plus k or control plus k if it is windows or any other systems uh, or you can just click on the shortcut here and the way it works is if i search for one of my prospects let's say let me search for dimitri so this universal search will help you find prospects accounts and uh, any of the pages inside outplay so let's just say if it is a prospect this is how it works it will pull up the, all the details in the mini view and if you want to see the full details of it you can just click on this full view and you have all the details here so without having to uh, do two three clicks you have everything on the universal search and uh, it can also search anything like let's say if you want to go to billing section on outplay settings so you just for search for that and you have subscriptions cards and invoices so you just click on any of those pages it will take you to the pages of your invoices section so that's about the universal search just at uh, uh, command plus k and everything is at your disposal without having to go through all the pages and the next one which i've inherently just showed you now is uh, prospect mini view and full view so what's happening earlier was uh, if you want to take a look at five different prospects you have to click on each one of them page loads and then you have to come back and then you have to uh, click on one more prospect for right now what happens is uh, either from a home page or anywhere across the system if you click on a uh, prospect this mini view would come up with all the prospect details and you can go to a full view or if you click on a subject let's say this is one of my subject or uh, prospects uh, subject if you click on that it will automatically open the full view and uh, loads that particular email for you so that you can go through that so all the details of this prospect can be seen here without any page refreshes and all the actions that you want to do with this prospect are also here so this saves a lot of clicks and a lot of time uh, so this is all about the efficiency with this prospect mini view and uh, full view this was across the system i outbox tasks wherever you click on a prospect name or a subject name uh, it automatically loads up and the third feature that i want to discuss about is email spacing so if you go to settings here in the safety settings you will observe a new field called minimum delay between emails so this will really help you space out your emails uh, now like let's say you want to send one email uh, every 2 minutes right so if you have a schedule of 8 nana 8 or 9 hours you'll be able to send like 200 or 240 emails uh, spaced out across the day to make sure that your emails are not landing in spam or google or office 65 is uh, not considering you as one of potential mass emailer uh, and the fourth one i want to talk about is uh, notifications so we have uh, come up with this new section where you can see uh, the email notifications the call notifications and the text messages that you are receiving here so just to make sure that uh, you don't miss out on any of the emails coming up here and even from here if you click on this it will automatically in the background opens up the complete email view uh, so and then you have uh, settings here so that uh, and so this is uh, uh, notifications on the desktop but uh, if you want to receive emails you can set up notifications so whenever you receive a reply outplay will send out an email to you whenever you receive an sms again the same notification whenever you miss an inbound call uh, it gives you a notification on the email so that after putting all the hard work in getting touch with your prospects you are not reaching out on any of the inbound emails or text messages or 
inbound calls. And the fifth one, and I have a lot of uh, customers requested this, is uh, have to take a uh, preview of the variables, whether uh, are there, uh, all these variables are replacing properly or not, how to make sure. So if you go to any of the sequence steps and go to a sequence where you have uh, some uh, prospects. So let's say I have around 11 people here and uh, when you've, okay, yeah, not on that, but let's just go back. And when you click on that particular step, so here you can see I have uh, variables in uh, subject and uh, here as well. So you just go to uh, preview here and then uh, we give you access to uh, check uh, preview for first 20 prospects in the sequence step. So here you can see the first name here is highlighted here, changed with uh, the my prospect name David. And if I click here, my second prospect is Colton and my third prospect is Allison here. So you can quickly take a preview at this and uh, you can also go for a test email to yourself to make sure all your variables are, uh, if you miss out on any variable, it will, instead of this uh, color, it will show in the red color that you don't have a value for that particular prospect. And the last feature that I want to talk about is, uh, we have introduced tags in the trigger section. So you can automatically enroll your prospects into sequences based on a tag of a particular prospect as well. So if you go to uh, create a new trigger here and uh, uh, select uh, uh, whether a prospect is updated or prospect is created. Let's say a prospect is created and then you add the criteria here. If you go on to the bottom, you have a prospect tag here. So you have all the tags that you have created in the system. So based on these tags, you can select a tag, let's say all the prospects with the tag of an agency. I want to enroll them into a particular sequence or I want to uh, set a field or uh, so I can pretty much do anything with the tags. So we had tags earlier, but we had no support for tags inside the triggers. So this is what we have come up with. Uh, so a lot of new features are coming up down the line and uh, feel free to explore these features, give us your valuable feedback uh, and we can improve this product only with your valuable feedback and uh, keep out playing. Have a good day guys. Thanks a lot for watching.